Yes, we're absolutely delighted to be able to be open on the 26th of June and welcome our guests back to Blessing Born Estate. We're getting, we're very busy this week, um, getting apartments and our cottage uh, ready to open up uh, to visitors and getting all our sanitizer stations in place, our signage, and uh, also with a lot of our soft furnishing, furnishing, sadly, we're taking those out of the apartments. Well, at Blessed Born, it really is a very special country estate. We often think we're quite quirky, very welcoming. You have 550 acres to explore. We have amazing mountain bike trails, over 13 kilometers. So it's a brilliant place to get out uh, on your bike. There's beautiful walking trails. You can bump into a red squirrel. We have a small herd of deer that frequent the estate. If you get up early, you might bump into those on the trails. Uh, there's a tennis court. We have private lakes with fantastic course fishing. And if you just want to have a chilled ride in the boat, you can take it out on our private lakes. We have lots of open spaces and it really is a special place to visit. So I'm looking forward to having people arriving again. I enjoy it. We have a lot of garden space all around the house, to the sides and front and back. And um, we have a new area around to the side where we have three small sun tables and uh, there's lots of space between them. So hopefully if the weather keeps good, people can social distance out there and sit outside and have a drink in the evening or have breakfast out there or have a meal in the evening, whatever they feel like. I do uh, soda bread and scones and sometimes cakes and jam. We have our own strawberries growing in the garden. So this year they're not ripe yet, but they soon will be. So um, looking forward to making some strawberry jam and rhubarb jam. Well, I'll not tell you a word of a lie, it's been very, very difficult, very tough. Um, it's just been surreal, a surreal experience. It's very hard coming into the hotel and seeing it locked up and cold and dark when it's normally such a bright, friendly place full of atmosphere and fun. Um, I've really missed the staff. We've all really missed the customers and we just can't wait until the 3rd of July to welcome everyone back into the hotel. We have used the time when the hotel has been closed to refurbish some areas which can be very difficult to get at, such as the swimming pool um, changing rooms. And then whenever we got the government guidance and we realised that the people who wanted to have a drink were going to have to be outside, we have refurbished some of the external areas. Um, as well as that, we've been working very hard going through all of the guidance, the very lots and lots of guidance, um, and we've gone through that and we've drawn up our risk assessment, our standard operating procedures, and we have formalised all of that and we're now going to start training the staff for their return to work um, starting next week. We have been working hard to put various procedures in place to ensure the safety of the customers and the staff. Um, so our customers, they will recognise of course the lovely smiling faces and they will also then see signs and um, sanitising stations and things that are unusual and new to the Glen Affin Hotel. But we are the same people, it's the same business and we cannot wait to welcome you back on the 3rd of July. We've been here for generations and uh, we're very proud of the fact that we're a family run bar and restaurant. A lot of our customers are families, so we're looking forward to looking them back in a nice safe environment. We're shut down in March, we're looking forward to St Patrick's weekend etc. But uh, we're closed down, Look, you don't get off and get a break in this business, so we were glad of the break and got a good bit of family time and I suppose you know we're looking forward to welcoming the families back to Freels, you know, in a safe environment. Um, we've missed, you know, the bar not being open and look, it's, it's, a, it's been a big change for everybody but we're no different, we have to adapt and change. There's been, there's been hard times before and there'll be hard times again but we just have to adapt and make sure we're ready and we're, we're, all our regulations are correct. Uh, 
Uh, we're still waiting on uh, further directions. Uh, we've, we've been getting a lot of support from Hospitality Ulster, so we're just waiting on the final details, you know, with regards or, or regulations for opening for toilet areas, for uh, we've got two toilet areas here and for the flow of traffic through the building. Uh, we're fortunate enough we've got two entrances at the front of the building where we can change, you know, as regards restaurant traffic, bar traffic. So it's, uh, it's very important that uh, we maximise the flow of the place and keep it safe for customers moving about the building. We'll be supplying hand sanitizers at the front and at the rear entrances to the building. Uh, there'll be also other hand sa sanitizer stations throughout the building as well. And it's just to make sure the customer's confident and happy that you know people are washing their hands and being safe. Been uh, tidying up our open spaces at the front. We have a couple of spaces there at the front. And at the rear of the premises, we've got our market bar beer garden. We're also extending out the back to another open air yard, uh, which we think will be great, you know, if we get the weather. We, we, we renovated the old post office, uh, it was used as a soup kitchen and, and the Irish famine and we found, found one implement there, I think it might have been a, a builder's, so used to hang a builder's line or something like that, but we'll get it checked out anyway, but uh, it's interesting now, you know we're going to put the famine pot in there and uh, it's, a, it's another wee idea we had when we were, uh, we were locked up. The cabin is your own private space and um, there is your the living area as you come into the cabin and the, there's a fully equipped kitchen with the oven and the hob, fridge, so on and um, then double bedroom, two single beds and then at the front there's a sofa bed as well so uh, the cabin can sleep up to five people comfortably and the electric shower, bathroom in and all indoors as well and um, there is then your, the free Wi-Fi wi on site as well and your TV and DVD player for entertainment. The key factor really to do with our cabins is the view. Um, there's been different guests have described the cabins as hidden gems. It's just such a peaceful place to be. Um, it is just green fields right around you, sheep and cows. Is, just across the, the hedge and um, like I say, lots of fresh air, open space for the young ones even to start to re-engage with nature, go for walks. I would love for people to come and visit us. They're very welcome to come here. And again, it's just the public's confidence to have confidence in and come that um, the current horror cabins, everything will be of a high standard and that the guidelines are being recommended will be all adhere to so um, just like that beautiful views and everything around at your doorstep to come and enjoy.